What's up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews, I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Honda Accord. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The Honda Accord needs no introduction. This sedan has been a staple of American vehicles for a long, long time. Its reliability, affordability, and usually at least decent looks have propelled it in popularity seemingly forever. If you're looking for a solid sedan for you and your family that you can count on and afford, Look no further than the Honda Accord. Today we'll look at the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Photos and information in today's video come direct from Honda or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. The 2023 Accord will come in six different trim options, and a few of which are new since the hybrid setup has now uh, arrived for the 2023 year. Uh, you'll start off with the LX and the EX. Those will be your your lowest two trims, those will be the gas engines. The top four will, will be the hybrid setup, the Sport Hybrid, EXL Hybrid, Sport L Hybrid, and the top tier Touring Hybrid. The base level LX will start at under $30,000 at $28,390. It's a great starting price um, for, this, for this kind of vehicle and for families to be able to afford that. And if you want that top trim, you have to shout another ten k for that Touring Hybrid that starts at $38,435. Still though, we have six different options there to spread out that $10,000 price difference. There should be an option for you. The gas engine that will come for the LX and the EX is a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It's 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. Uh, not the most power there, but uh, sufficient enough for what you need it for. The hybrid setup will be a two liter four cylinder plus two electric motors. That'll give you 204 horsepower, 247 pound-feet of torque. So definitely some more power will come with that hybrid, and certainly quicker from the stoplight. All these will be trim or paired with a CVT transmission, as most hybrid setups are as well, and the gas is too. Drivetrain on the Accord, as usual, is front-wheel drive only. Definitely disappointing to not see there is an all-wheel drive option. That should absolutely at least be an option, if not standard. Uh, and looking at MPGs for that gas engine, you get 29 city, 38 highway, which is pretty respectable. And for that hybrid setup, you get a whopping 51 in the city, and 48 on the highway. Take a look now at the Accord for 2023. Some different trim uh, pictures here, some different views of what it looks like. This is a new design for 2023. This is the 11th generation of the Accord. Uh, that's most uh, more generations than most vehicles that are on the road. So this has been around for a long time. The new design matches the fleet and squares up well against the rest of the rapidly evolving competition. Uh, this Accord is always ranked very high. This staple sedan isn't going anywhere in 2023. You're going to start seeing this thing everywhere. Honda said there is improved suspension and handling for this 2023 design. The LX isn't the most basic of basic trims that I've ever seen. Going up the ladder has its uh, advantages and advances in features. Going to the EX will add creature comforts and some elevated exterior features as well, such as 19-inch wheels instead of 17-inch, and clearly a better design with those as well. The Touring being that top trim will give you the most inside and out, but mostly on the inside. These trims don't differ too, too much on the outside. There's not really any extra features on them. The higher up you go, just better looking versions of what is lower. Uh, but the exterior still has nicest features and different ones, such as a rear diffuser and fanciest wheels on that Touring. I think the best bang for your buck is going to be the EX if you want the gas engine and the Sport if you want to go hybrid. The EX does give you that smaller infotainment screen, which we'll touch on after this, but it is a couple thousand less than the Sport trim. And if you want the gas option, that's the highest trim you can go for that since there's only two. Uh, I think the Sport will give you plenty as well and gives you that great hybrid advantage. It all depends on what you want. Uh, I think a lot of people will probably opt for the hybrid and go with that sport, but if gas is all you need, you can pretty affordably get that EX and you will get a few extra things over uh, the, the LX. But you, like I said, not having that larger infotainment system might be enough to make you wanna go up to that sport hybrid trim. Looking at the interior now and a few different shots of what you can option yours to look like, depending on how you get it. Uh, this is an excellent new design from Honda for this year. Uh, a very attractive interior, interior overall, especially for the money that you're going to be paying for this car. You do get a nice amount of things for your money. 
As always, your level of interior amenities and comfort is directly correlated to the trim you choose and how you option it. All will have a nice honeycomb pattern on the dash, which kind of hides your vents and looks very sharp. There's a new 10.2 inch digital gauge cluster that will come standard on all these trims uh, across the board, which that's a great touch. The LX and the EX do get that smaller seven inch infotainment screen. The rest will get a 12.3 inch screen, which adding just over five more inches does make a lot of people want to offer that higher trim. So smart by Honda to do that. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto comes standard. You get a 16.7 cubic feet of storage in the trunk, which that's plenty, should be plenty of space for your daily uses. The LX and EX and Sport Hybrid come with cloth uh, for seats and the rest have leather. The Touring being that top trim also gets a six inch color heads up display and a 12 speaker Bose sound system standard. All these as well come with tons of safety features standard and driver assist to give you the most comfortable ride you can have. Interview guys, the Accord has always been such a staple in the car industry and 2023 should be no different. This is arguably the best design it's ever had and with that sort of the best features that come along with it. Even on the base level trim, you're still getting a lot. And as always, this is an affordable option for you and your family. If you need just, you know, a basic car to get you around, you can have this for a great price. And know, you know, you have the, the comfort in your head. This is a very reliable vehicle. You shouldn't have any issues with it. It's such a great track record. And now you have a hybrid option, so you can improve your MPGs, your fuel economy, and stretch out the affordability of this even more. So hopefully this review laid things out on a clear way for you guys. Thanks for watching this Best Car Review. I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.